Hi everyone, Lisa Haven here, and I've got an urgent report. This one specifically in regards to world war, if you will, or North Korea, China, Japan, and America are all involved at this point. Not to mention uh, Russia would probably fit in there somewhere as well. But lots is happening right now as there is talk on Infowars that there might be a possible preemptive strike against Japan. And he even put a date. I don't like to put dates on anything, and these aren't my words. Uh, I want to just state that, but I want to share with you what Infowars' is Alex Jones is talking about, and I'll play the clip in a moment. But not only that, but an FBI director, I believe, uh, Christopher Wray, is warning us that we need to prepare also for China. Is China and North Korea, is there something brewing there as well? We also know uh, there's lots of tension between Korea or, or North Korea and Japan in a negative light, but China is also getting radars sent up here in America by the FBI director. But for starters, let me play the clip of Alex Jones Infowars talking about that preemptive strike from North Korea to Japan. Take a listen. North Korean chatter and preparations, both from human intelligence and signals, states that North Korea is at this time planning a preemptive strike against Japan, Tokyo, with ICBMs starting in the last two days of March going into April 2nd. So anywhere within that four or five day period. And that everyone, especially um, families of armed service members, should not be traveling and should not be leaving the United States during that period. And because they don't want to officially put that announcement out, they want that announcement put out to this audience because you are seen as the most awake, patriotic Americans. There you have it. Those aren't my words. However, Alex Jones at InfoWars is revealing that U.S. intelligence is being leaked, if you will, or he's being shared U.S. intelligence, that there just might be a preemptive strike from North Korea to Japan uh, sometime between late March and early April. Now, whether or not that will come to fruition, again, I have no idea. I'm just sharing what I know. But in addition to that, I want to show you a few reports. The first one here is from brooklings.edu, and it's put out February 12th and it's headlined ex-CIA analyst explains why a bloody nose policy on North Korea would backfire. Now the report goes on to state that three former CIA uh, agents, if you will, Zhang Pak, Sue Terry, and Bruce Killinger, with combined 45 years of experience in studying the North Korea regime, believe that any military strike against North Korea is likely to unleash a series of events that could lead to devastation and mass casualties, as well as undermine Washington's maximum pressure and engagement strategy. Now, here's another report on Infowars.com. This put out February 16th, all of this year, but a bloody nose strike on North Korea could begin with a cyber attack. Now, the Trump administration sets off nearly unprecedented scramble with an intelligence community as potential confrontation looms. Now, the report goes on to detail that the bloody nose strike against North Korea currently being debated within the White House could begin with a cyber attack. According to Foreign Policy's Jenny McLaughlin, current and former intelligence officials say the Trump administration has set off a nearly unprecedented scramble within the intelligence community as a potential confrontation with Pyongyang comes to a head. The first shot will be cyber, one of the former officials said. While the Pentagon has been tasked with drawing up plans for a possible military conflict, U.S. spy agencies have spent the last six months laying the groundwork for possible cyber attacks against the regime of Kim Jong-un. Huge, huge. Now, those reports both detail um, how uh, evidently something's going on with the White House where they think there could be some kind of strike uh, from North Korea, now to Japan, to America, obviously, but they're preparing for something. And that if some preemptive strike is taken against North Korea, then we could be looking at all out chaos and war, at least according to some of the analysts that you read. Now, if you add a little flame to the fire, that we're also getting warnings of China. Check out this report. This is on businessinsider.com. The headline reads, the director of the FBI says the whole Chinese society 
is a threat to the United States and that Americans must step up to defend themselves. Now, the report states FBI Director Christopher Wray issued a dire warning about China's growing influence during a Senate Intelligence Committee hearing on Tuesday. He said there were a variety of ways China was implementing a plan to replace the United States as the global power. Please keep that in mind. They've been trying to do that for a while and they're infiltrating uh, all of our academics here in America. Keep that in mind. That's a huge point. Additionally, recent reports have suggested that while China uh, institutes are all sustainably language learning centers. They often serve as vehicles for Chinese propaganda and universities around the world, including the U.S. Additionally, intelligence experts have also cited the Chinese cybersecurity threats as a major major concern in 2018. Now we already know that China has gone after and hacked uh, some things here in America and apparently they believe that some of these hackings are not going to stop. But we do know that China wants to be a global currency. They want their currency to be the new world order currency, if you will. They even have billboards all across China promoting their currency as the new world order currency. This is one reason they can be seen as a threat and who knows what's going on between them and North Korea, but we need to keep all these players in mind. Now that rings a bell, if you will, back to Daigle. Uh, this is not a government organization, not affiliated with the government, but they do do work, uh, create things, create uh, very powerful things for the U.S. government and sell them to the U.S. government. Now that being said, let's look at a few things uh, on the Deagle website. They do forecast of what they what 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 United States of America or North Korea or Japan and China all look like for 2016, and then they forecast the future, if you will, and predict what uh, we will look like in the year 2025. Now let's start first with America because you guys know this. I've shared it on my channel numerous times, but I'll throw this chart up. It's in the Deagle chart, you can see for the United States of America right now, 2016, at least we have 324 million people. By 2025, they believe that's going to go down to 54 million. Why? I'm going to tell you in just a minute. But let's go back and look at all four of the countries that are involved here. A second country that is involved is Japan. They're saying there could be some kind of preemptive strike or whatever. Well, Dango predicts for Japan, right now it's at 127 million, at least for 2016. And in 2025, they predict it's gonna go down a little, if you will, 109 million. So they're not as bad as the US, but they definitely went down. Well, let's look at China. China, another key player, 1.4 billion in 2016. The forecast for 2025 is again, 1.4 billion. So they are supporting China, if you will, and saying their economy is going to be maintained. When United States of America severely drops and Japan severely drops, not as bad as America, but it drops. Now let's go over to North Korea. According to Daigle.com, they say North Korea has 25 million people in 2016 and by the year 2025, zero people. So they believe North Korea is going to be completely and utterly obliterated. Interesting statistics. Now the reason given on Daigle for why they see all these drops specifically in the United States of America, because that was one of the worst drops. I mean, how do you go from 324 million people to 54? What happened to them all, Daigle? Well, when they were pushed and inquired, they put out this little clip that you see on the screen, uh, and I'm gonna read through it, but the key element to understand the process that the US will enter into the upcoming decade is migration. In the past, especially in the 20th century, the key factor that allowed the Uni United States of America to rise to its colossal status was immigration with the benefits of demographic, demographic expansion, supporting the credit expansion and the brain drain from the rest of the world, benefiting the states. The collapse of the Western financial system will wipe out the standard of living of its population while ending Ponzi schemes such as the stock exchange and the pension funds. The population will be hit so badly by a fully array of bubble and Ponzi scheme that the migration engine will start to work in reverse, accelerating itself due to the ripple effects, thus leading to the demise of the states. The unseen situation for the states will develop itself in a cascade pattern with unprecedented and devastating effects for the economy. Jobs offshoring will surely end with many American corporations relocating overseas, thus becoming foreign corporations. 
We see a significant part of the American population migrating to Latin America and Asia while migration to Europe suffering a similar illness won't be relevant. Nevertheless, the death toll will be horrible. Then it goes on to link it to uh, what went on with the Soviet Union and it adds a little more there. You can kind of read the rest of that if you want, but in a nutshell, they, sell, they say the economy is going to call cause so much devastation that it's going to go down. They even talk about the possibility of a pandemic hitting, uh, but basically economic turmoil. And I think you can even throw war into that if you will. But again, these are not my predictions. This is the prediction uh, from Daigle. I'm sharing with you because it's out on the internet and you need to know. Uh, and if Daigle wasn't a company that creates stuff and makes stuff for the government, then maybe, or does contract work for the government, then maybe it wouldn't be such a big deal. But when they have such a name stamped behind them, then it's something we absolutely need to pay attention to. These are huge and they have their own little disclaimer on there saying what they believe it's going to be. Recap of it all, well, we have a possible preemptive strike uh, from North Korea to Japan that's being predicted by US intelligence saying it could happen towards the end of March or beginning of April. So if you plan on traveling to Japan, you may want to hold off just in case. I don't know if it will. Additionally, we have tension tensions brewing with China, which according to FBI director, he's saying that we need to be very weary and scared, if you will, of China, because China wants to take out the US in order to be that global power. They want to be the money power of the entire world. This is something they've wanted for a very long time. So could they turn their backs, if you will, uh, on United States and do some crazy stuff? Absolutely. It's not beyond this communist regime. Remember what kind of uh, dictators that we're dealing with over there and they surely don't like the president of the United States of America. So all that in a nutshell. Meanwhile, we have this fake Russia uh, narrative going on, which they finally indicted, by the way, 13 people. This was like their plan B or C, I'm sure. it's This is ludicrous, where they're finally getting indictments, uh, people not even affiliated with the Trump administration, people that had nothing to do with that uh, because they wanted to pin it on somebody. So you look and say squirrel while the FISA memo is behind you. So they want you to ignore the FISA memo and they want you to focus that they actually got the Russian enemy when they didn't. They had them all along. This was in their back pocket. We know, we know. Okay. Not only that, but it, you could do the same junk with China. I guarantee you China interfered in the election for Hillary. And I guarantee you Israel interfered in the election as well. We could probably indict a hundred different people from hundreds of different countries. So don't tell me you just pick one and it is what it is. Anyway, I wanted to share that little bit. Uh, I don't want to go off topic too much here, but there's a lot going on. Anyhow, I'd love to hear your comments. Subscribe to the channel. Um, there is some crazy stuff going on with YouTube and you need to make sure you're subscribed. So sign up on a YouTube account and hit that subscribe button. Also, don't forget to check out my partner at tradegeniusacademy.com. He's got some great specials. It is still 50% off right now. So make sure you go there to tradegeniusacademy.com and check out all the things that he has. He teaches you how to make money in even especially a down current economy and considering what's going on uh, with Daigle and their predictions on the instabilities in the economy, you may want to go to Trade Genius Academy uh, as well. Anyhow, thanks again for tuning in. I'm Lisa Haven, signing out.